Today's adventure is fixing our Whirlpool dishwasher. We bought this in 2017. You can see the model here on the side of your dishwasher inside if you open it up. And about three years later, it just stopped. Well, it just didn't clean very well. So it's actually pretty common for these to um, get clogged with, with some uh, stuff in here that might come in here. But in our case, this would spin a little bit. This would spin and water would come out. It just wasn't very fast. So a simple test is that we would actually just put a bowl in like this where it would capture the water on top and then we would start it and then water wouldn't even fill up here. It's like the water wasn't even coming up. There just wasn't enough pressure coming up to it. But we did notice that water was actually coming out here, just not very, very much enough to get up here into these parts. The first step is just to make sure that it's all cleaned out inside. But you can actually look inside of the dishwasher down at the bottom, uh, open up some of those parts and just make sure that there's nothing in there blocking it. That doesn't require any type of changing or, or pulling things out, so it's a lot easier. But if you've cleaned it all out and it still isn't working, then there may be something else you have to look at. I did some research and I found out that apparently it's common for this pump to go out, so I ordered this new pump. I saw another YouTube video where the guy took out his pump and replaced a bearing that was inside of it and it only cost him $10. So I thought, okay, well, I'll just open it up and see what's in there first before I go. And I'll put a link to that video in the comments. But I opened it up and um, this is what I found. Look at this, look at all this junk. Ugh, gross. Now we've cleaned it up. We can put it back in, but this was the problem. This whole thing was just full of stuff. So we pulled ours out, my wife and I. And um, this little bit goes down up in here, connects to this guy. It's pretty cool, it's a magnet, so it just spins nicely. Uh, we'll put that back on correctly and then we'll see if it works. So I'm showing how you put it all back together, but basically it's all twist. There was no real tools and this just kind of twists in somehow. I guess you're just seeing my hands there, but figure it out so we got it back in it's on the back side and then this cable goes back into it right there and success huge success we put the bowls in like this on the top rack and then we turn it on for a couple minutes so it filled up with water and then the water just we knew it worked because the water actually went into bowls before if we put the water in the bowl or if we put the bowls inside the dishwasher like that, and then we turned it on, this the bowl wouldn't even fill up with water. So it works now, just a simple clean. Just really hard to get to, but uh, not too bad. 